Martin Kaisovia travels an hour every Sunday to practice with his rugby team. But Kaisovia is no ordinary player on an ordinary team. He is deaf, as are all of his teammates. When I, I was growing up, there was no deaf rugby. But I, I used to see that uh, people like joining new things. Then I decided, ah, let me go with a new thing. So this is a deaf rugby team in Kenya. Deaf rugby is the same as a regular game, except referees use a cloth to draw players' attention. The team brings together Kenya's deaf community and helps to fight stigma linked with being deaf. Maurice Okwach formed the team and the Kenya Deaf Rugby Association to support it. But Kenya, we only, the, the, the people who are hearing are the ones who have a rugby team. So we thought, let's copy South Africa also, let's form our team. And then we, we wrote to the World Deaf Rugby and then uh, they told us, go ahead and we formed it. Deaf Rugby teams also exist in South Africa, Australia, Canada and England and the sport is represented at the Deaf Olympics. When finding a rugby coach in Kenya who was also deaf proved a challenge, local player Brennan Rashid stepped in. I have seen the progress, I've seen them taking it step by step, going uh, places with it. I have seen them getting a proper understanding of the game and that's just the best thing that I can give. The team does not have any sponsors or official support and has yet to play a real game. But the players are aiming to compete at the next Deaf Olympics in 2021. We must get a gold medal. We must, we must. That is my dream. And also we must bring a trophy. We must. I know Kenya, uh, for the hearing, they are strong. So even for us as the deaf rugby team, we want to emulate them. We want to become as strong and as firm as they are. For now, Kenya's deaf rugby team keeps training. Their eyes firmly fixed on the prize. Sarah Kimani for VOA News, Nairobi.